Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those moves are hot. Whoa, get it, Mr. Roboto. Get it, Mr. Roboto. Oh yeah, look at these funky jams. Tricep kickbacks already, look at this guy. He's ready, he's raring. I hope you guys are all pumped up. It is an amazing Tuesday, guys. That means another round of force and hardcore coming at you. That means upper body pushing muscles. Think chest, think shoulders, think triceps. And then we're gonna work a lot of core as well. So some abs, some obliques, even a little bit of lower back, just to round things out, all right? So to warm up today, I've got a three minute AMRAP for you. Actually, I've got four three minute AMRAPs for you. We're gonna focus on the first one. We're gonna have a light set of dumbbells, or moderate. We're gonna start with one hand up in trading places. We're going reciprocating shoulder press, all right? So 20 of those bad boys, 10 each arm, and then we're gonna take it on down to the floor. We're gonna do a plank up. So when I start in my high plank position, I drop my right arm down, I pop up on my right. Now I'm gonna go left arm down, pop up on my left. So right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. We're gonna do 10 of those, just total. So five each, again, three minutes, those two moves, all right? So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Let's get ready to pump in five, in four, in three, two, one. Let's rock and roll, baby. Now, right off the bat, something to notice is that Cassie has a little bit more of the traditional sort of elbows out, shoulder press position. Brandon's going a little bit more neutral. What it's going to do at your shoulder, first off, it's a little bit more based on comfort. Now, we can argue the nuance a little bit, and I'll explain that, but I want you guys getting comfortable. Some people like it here. Some people like it in the middle. Some people like it way out there wide. It really is based on your shoulder comfort. That said, when we're out wide, we're gonna be a little bit more lateral deltoid as much as or as well as our anterior. When we come neutral, that's more the anterior. Again, that just means the front of our shoulder, okay? Now they're belting down into the plank up. Again, coming up and down on your right arm first. Then we go left arm, then we go right arm, then we go left arm, just 10 total. That should not take you very long. Both of them just did that first round in 45 seconds. You're a little faster, awesome. If you're a little slower, that's okay. You go your pace, but in three minutes, we'll work on as many rounds as we can of this little combo. Let's get it, gang. How many presses? 20 presses, home slice. Joe and company, I see you Jojo, I see you shy lady, Mike Doritos down, I heard about that, I heard about that. Now notice that on their plank up, they're both doing an amazing job of keeping their hips stable, that's the entire point, right? Otherwise, we'd just be planking it out. But the challenge is as you move on that plank, as your elevation changes, can you do your best not to allow your hips to shift side to side or rotationally, can you keep everything square? Now we're just over the minute and a half, that means these two rock stars are working towards four rounds. I love it, baby. Oh my God, oh yeah, oh yeah. Now remember, reciprocating press, someone's slowing down to do an alternating press here a little bit. Reciprocating means they're both moving at the same time, just opposite directions, okay? So one is going where the other one came from, 20, honey, and then down to that plank. Let's see if he, come on, Bubba. New haircut, aerodynamic, you see this guy, you see the speed? Woo! Nice and quick, coming out of the shower. Love, I love being bald. I love a new shaved head life. Takes, takes minutes, minutes off of dry time in the shower. Awesome kids. Now, another way we can challenge ourselves down this plank up is taking our feet narrower or even going to one foot. So notice now, brand has got one leg in the air. Oh baby, that's gonna be a nice little challenge. You want another up level? You can do both arms at the same time, right? So, ooh, down with the elbow, up with the elbow, down with the elbow, up with the elbow again, making sure you stay super duper tight. We got 20 seconds. You guys keep ripping right on through. We're gonna transition immediately into our next three minute AMRAP. So let me demo for you. You got one dumbbell now. Again, something fairly moderate. We're gonna take it high to the sky. I always like bring my other arm here to help stabilize. And then we drop down. So it's an overhead tricep extension. You're gonna go ahead and hit 10 on your right arm, 10 on your left arm. Or if you've just got a real big heavy dumbbell, you can use that bad boy and do both arms at the same time for 10 either way. And then we're taking them down to the floor, we're doing a star crunch. So I'm gonna extend all the way out, hands and feet. I crunch and I give my knees a little hug and I relax back. So you're gonna give me 10 of those star crunches and then right back up in the triceps. Guys, grab your dumbbells. Let's go overhead try as I trip in three, in two, in one. Let's go. 
So hand all the way up, again, supporting that elbow, or if you're gonna use your heavier dumbbell, Brandon over here taking two of his moderate dumbbells together, he's gonna use those, boom, drop it in. Ooh, there he is, nice. So again, depending on what you have available, okay? Obviously, if you do both arms at the same time, he's doing one set of 10. Cassie's gonna do two sets of 10. So she's gonna go a little bit slower, he's gonna go a little fat, right? Just depends on what you have available to you at your home. If you've got bands, we can always step on those bands, take them next to me, up overhead, again, dropping in on that extension, okay? Star crunch, notice that he splays all four of his limbs out wide, and as he comes into tuck, again, give yourself a little hug, or I like that, tapping his fingers together underneath his thighs. Take note that as Brandon stretches out too, he doesn't allow his heels to touch or his hands to touch. Instead, he's keeping all four limbs elevated off the floor. What that does is it forces him to keep tension in his abdominals the entire time. Cassie, gonna go ahead and join him. Again, three minute AMRAP. How many rounds can you get done in three minutes? That's your challenge. How many? How many? 10. Get it, B. Now, Mr. Roboto over here is flexing for us, but you just notice he went from, show me that way, he went from dropping his pelvis forward, which naturally makes him arch his back, which puts a lot of sort of negative pressure on actually the front half of your spine. The vertebral disc pushes out the opposite. He's instead gonna work on rotating his pelvis back, he tucks his belly, I say this all the time, he pulls his ribs down in order to stay nice and tall. And that's what we want, be as vertical as you can. If it's really hard for you to keep that neutral position, two things, one, you're probably a little tight here in your lats, a lot of people are, and the dumbbell might be a little too heavy for you. So even if you are tight and mobility is an issue, we should be using a weight that's light enough that I can keep my hands up while keeping that neutral pelvis and drop in and out without having to arch and go in there, okay? Nice tempo, team. So this sequence may be a little bit slower than the other. Again, you're working for as many rounds as you can. We're about 2.30 in. We got 30 seconds to go. And then we got another sequence coming in again. Come on, really bust it out, really bust it out. Now for this next combo, we're gonna grab our lighter dumbbells and we're gonna do a little jab action. So, Dominant leg is going to be back behind you. And we're throwing those alternating jabs. Pop, 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 pop. 20 of them. Once you're down there, you can drop your dumbbells or hold on to them. I don't know. Depends on the challenge you want. And we're going to go 20 jumping jacks. All right? Another three minutes on the clock. Again, grab your light dumbbells for me. We're on in three, in two, in one. Let's rock and roll. Boom. So on that jab, you got bent knees. Your hips are getting in that movement. And you should feel a ton of core, especially using heavy enough dumbbells. Now, we don't want to go too heavy and blow up the shoulders too much, right? Something in that 5, 7.5, maybe up to 10 pound range for most of us. Okay, a little bit light on the dumbbell so we can deliver those fast hands. Nice team. On the jumping jacks, make sure we're spending time on the balls of our feet. Hands are long, the longest arms you got, baby. There you go. Create that nice big vertical angel halo. And then right back in the punches. Here we go. Pop, 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 pop. Now, this round's going to be quick. It took you guys 35 seconds. That means daddy want to see like five rounds. Oh yeah, at least if you're at home, ain't no reason you can't get at least four rounds in this sequence as well with us, all right? So keep on up, pop, 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 adding in those punches. Maybe those jabs get a little bit stale for you. Want to mix it up, you can throw it. Uppercut, you can throw cross punches either way. We got that nice shadow box. 20 punches, 20 jumping jacks. 20 punches. 20 jumping jacks, hit a squat. They're starting their third round at the minute 10 mark. Oh, baby! Progression. Progression. Brandon going nope. into weighted nope. shot. Nope. it. Uh, what was that? Was that a fake out? Was it a psych out? I tried to do it. Didn't do it. I said it. If you wanted to do your jumping jacks with weights, I'd say five pounds or less. Like if you have some little two pound or one pound weights, you could probably do it. Otherwise, might be a little extreme on your shoulder there as you go up and down. Nice game.
Now for both our punches and our jumping jacks, I think you might think about the, the core action, but we do want to create that mind-body connection right now. What are my abs doing to help stabilize this movement? If you need to regress it, obviously that version is over here. You can do the step out as you go hands up overhead. It's okay that you look like you're doing a jazzercise class. That's an exercise as well, okay? As long as you're smiling, as long as you're moving and grooving, we're having a good time, baby. Let's go. Come on. This round four round five. Which round? Yep. Yes, I asked two questions. <laughs> round four or five, guys. Woo! Finishing up round four. You guys got time to spare, too. We got 35 seconds left on the clock, kids. One more and wrap. So 15 seconds now left. We're gonna take it on the floor and using our moderate dumbbells, we're going to go into a little bit of a chest fly. Okay, and this combo is gonna scorch that upper half. We're going chest fly with the dumbbells times 10. Once you're done, go ahead and put those dumbbells down. You roll over and we're doing knee tuck push-up. So I'm here in that high plank position. I kick in, I kick out, one push. I kick in, I kick out, one push. You're gonna do eight of those and then right back in your chest fly. The last combo for the upper half. We're there in three, in two, in one. Let's go, baby. Chest fly, knee tuck push up. Now, on the fly, we always want to achieve that sort of capital letter T position where my arms are as far out, or I should say my hands are as far out from my shoulders as possible. There's going to be a little bend in your elbow naturally. That's okay. But we don't want to be here. That's a press. We're going to press in a little bit. With these dumbbells, doing a press wouldn't be as effective because I'm stronger in that position. Instead, we're using the length of what we call our lever arm in this position to be the challenging piece. So the dumbbells, again, are kind of light to moderate. We're gonna do 10 solid ones, squeezing through our pecs, and then drop the dumbbells off. You turn it over, we got the push-up into the knee tuck. Yeah, B, got a baby. Now, if we had to do push-ups from our knees, we would just break this thing down into segments. So watch this, Brandon goes to his knees, he kicks in, he kicks out, he does his push-up, back to the toes for the frog kick though, okay? So drop to the knees for the push if you need to, and then back up to the toes for that frog kick. I know you can. You're like, no, Dan, I really can't. I can't. Okay, so give me a knee to elbow instead. We can go from the knees to the toes, but we go knee to elbow, knee to elbow instead of that frog kick, and then drop to the knees if we need to hit it that way. But no matter what, kids, we are pushing ourselves right here, Right now, minute 15 in, going all the way to three minutes. I know you're starting to get warm now. This is where we get hot with a W, baby. H A W T. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at these all stars, both taking progressions. So Brandon goes into a 90 degree position tabletop with his shins. Cassie's got her legs all the way extended, a little bit more like a boat pose here. Ooh, both of them working that much harder on their core now by taking their legs up off the ground. Reason being, even though it's an upper body move, that chest fly, you might not realize that your legs and your lower half are helping anchor you to the ground. They're increasing your base of support. So by lifting them off the floor, not only is that hard for my abs, because my abs are lifting my legs, but from a rotational and a stabilizing standpoint, my core has to do that much more just Woo! to even anchor down for my arms and shoulders. What'd you say? Woo! Oh, yeah, we mean it when we say it, baby. We mean it. We got 45 seconds left, team. Can we do one more round? Let's go. 10 flies, eight push-up knee tucks. Get it, Frass. Boom. We push, we tuck. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Get it now. Oh, Brandon adding on a little leg lift. What's that called? Progression. Progression. Oh, yeah. We're not regressing nothing today. Unless, unless we need to. It's totally okay if you have to. 15 more seconds, guys. Whatever you're at, don't even transition now. Brandon's going too. But whatever you're at, just stay put. Stay put. We got a last little piece. But you better give me a push up, boy. Bigger than a push up, boy. Don't do this. Don't at all do this. We got six, we got five, we got four, three, two, one. And rest, shake those arms out. Chances are you're feeling pretty warm now. Oh, yeah. And that's amazing, but we're just getting started, friends. So go, don't go anywhere, just grab a little sip of water, grab a towel. Our next circuit is gonna be a little bit more fun.